Thanks. I'm going to give a run through of um, importing spatial data from OpenStreetMaps into QGIS and then into Civil 3D. Uh, I want to start by obviously bringing the data from OpenStreetMaps to QGIS, and we can do that quickly using this plugin available here called Quick OSM. And so I just download that from here and then make a note of where your zip is being saved to. Okay, so in QGIS, I'm just working with a, uh, a new project. And then to install the plugin, I'm just coming up to Plugins, Manage and Install Plugins. Uh, here, you just want to make sure you're working in the most current version of QJS and the most current version of the plugin, so they're kind of aligning. And then I just come to Install from Zip, just locate that file that you've made a note of. And then once you've done that, um, it should say install success, installed successfully. Come to installed and just make sure it's ticked. So I'll just make sure I'm quick or it's ticked there. You can see it pop up there. Close out of that. And then so that's going to be available um, through the vector options, quick OSM, quick OSM. Uh, but before I get started importing the data, I'm going to set the coordinate system for the project, and you want to be setting this up the same in QJS as you do in Civil 3D. Uh, so to set it up in this project, I'm just clicking on the little world icon here, and then I know that I want to be working with GDA 94, MGA Zone 55, so I'll select that, hit OK. Um, and then to make sure, um, the data from OpenStreetMap is being imported into the correct location. I'm just going to turn on a base map tile. So I've got my XYZ tiles here. I'll hit OpenStreetMap. Oh, this should be fine. And then I'll just kind of zoom into the location that I'm working in. So in my, in my case, I want the data around um, Yarraville. So coming into Melbourne, heading to the west. Uh, Stone Creeks here, so um, looking at this kind of area, uh, I've just got it zoomed in. And then to start bringing in data, I'm going to come to Vector, Quick OSM, Quick OSM. And then I'm going to um, be working within the queries. So I can type in an area here, otherwise, I can select an extent using the other options that are available here. Um, I'll select uh, maybe Yarraville with a 1K radius around that. And then um, the presets will be the way um, OpenStreetMap has had the data input into it. Um, so you have to make a note of what the map features are. Uh, so the map features that you can import will align with the um, with the way they're keyed here in terms of um, this key and then what they are. And so all of this information is available uh, from map features within the um, OpenStreetMap wiki, which is this site here. So I would kind of have this loaded up as you work through what you're bringing in. So back in QJS, I kind of know what data I might want to bring in. I'm having looked at the wiki, so um, and I'm working in Yarraville. Let's say on Park, the search function should kind of um, give you a fair indication of what you can get as well. So I'll, let's say on Land Use in Nature, Land Use Park, um, you can add extra layers of data that you want here. But let's just run one for now. Uh, so that's been successful. Now I've got the parks that have been drawn in for Yarraville. Um, with that information, I'll take the polygons. Um, I can kind of walk through how I would then export that to QJS. Um, but one thing you want to note of is um, just have a look at the attribute table to see what uh, what data it has retained as it's gone from OpenStreetMap to QJS, um, and think about how that might be of use to you. Uh, so I have some data that I'm ready to export from QGIS into uh, into Civil 3D. 
So to do that, I'm just going to come to um, the layer that I want to export. I'm going to come to export and then go to save feature as. Noting that Civil will be able to read a file as either a shape file um, because it's good at handling uh, special data, or it can run it as a um, DXF. I think it's simplest to just use a shape file because the DXF file likes to be kind of converted to a DWG. Uh, I'll choose this, and then I'm going to choose GDA 94. MGA Zone 55, um, which aligns with my project, which I'll then align with the coordinate system for the civil file. And just for the geometry type, um, I don't need to be this to be filled because I've got more information than I need. So I'll just choose line string. Um, in this case, I don't need the Z dimension, but that's something to be considerate of. And then I'm going to um, just give it a file name. Call it Yarrowville Parks and hit OK. Uh, so now I'm ready to head into Civil. Okay, so I've got a, a, a new um, metric drawing in Civil 3D. The nice thing here is that both QJS and Civil 3D are working in meters, so the, um, it should be pretty easy to import between them. But obviously we want the coordinate system to be the same in um, in both QGIS and Civil 3D. Uh, so to ensure this, we just want to come in our tool space here. Uh, within settings, so the second tab, let's uh, right click on the drawing name and click on edit drawing settings. Uh, you'll immediately see that to um, by default, it doesn't have a coordinate system um, attached to it. So we'll just select a new one, uh, which aligns with whatever we can put into QGIS. So let's select Australia as our zone. Let's come to uh, Map Grid of Australia, zone 55, um, using GDA 94 datum. So that's the same as what we were using in QGIS. Uh, we'll hit OK to that. Now we should be ready to import some um, data. Because we're bringing in a shapefile, uh, we want to use the command map import. And then you just want to locate wherever you output your file to. Um, I like to import these as closed polylines. These settings are all fine for now, but just note that there's um, the option to ascribe kind of additional values to the data as you import it. So I'll hit OK. I'm just double clicking my middle mouse to um, zoom into the location that it's being brought into. You can see I've got these kind of pretty clean closed polylines. Uh, and then um, I just want to check that they've come in at the correct geo location because if I want to import more data on top of this, that's going to be quite important. So for that, I'm just going to come to geo location and where it says map off, I'll just click on that and I'll click map aerial and then hopefully I have a map of um, Yarraville come up here. Uh, which I do, so you can see that these the, the data's all aligning pretty nicely because I've set the corner system um, appropriately. Um, and you've got the outlines of the, the parks generated. 